So climate science has told us that you know, the Earth is warming rapidly in unprecedented ways, that human activity is driving that change, uh, that it's happening even more quickly than the early climate science models uh, told us. The world scientists sounded an alarm about climate change. One would have thought that the world's leaders would then have gone to work, but they did not. Um, that means we need some other form of generation that's reliable, that's going to be there when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining. And that can be nuclear, that could be natural gas. I just don't want it to be coal. I mean, uh, natural gas or anything else represents not a bridge to the future, but a rickety pier out into the hydrocarbon lake. I'm committed to both of you not to let this become a debate, mm. but you're raising your hand, yeah. so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you uh, so, I'm gonna let you uh, so, go so to. So let it. me just I want to just dispute some of the characterizations. <laughs> there there are people who are committed environmentalists who don't subscribe to all of the to ev sort of all of the argument you just made. I mean the sort of let's be let's be moderate about this. That's what we did. That's what I did for 20 years, when and I it got nowhere. We, we deal with students here, we deal with, the, as the introduction said, the sort of sophistic, the sort of nuances of sustainability. We want them to understand that. and Learn all that you can, do all that you can in your professional life, but then with all the kind of earnestness and courage that you can summon, um, play a real role in making the sort of systemic change that has to happen so damn fast.